Hello! It was me all the time. As if you didn't know. Welcome to at home with Graham Graham Beck and I'm already out of breath, I don't know why. Um, Self-isolation number two. Right. I hope you're all um, sitting comfortably or standing comfortably or leaning comfortably or lying comfortably at home. And what we're going to do is uh, the usual, a bit like last week, only different. In that, uh, as you can see, I'm now in the corner of my living room, back living room, and uh, metal owl, standard lamp, old painting, my blinds, and I'm trying to block the light out up top because it's a bit too bright in here, but there we are. So, what are we going to do? We have four songs. Not one, not two, not three. That's for the kiddies to work out, you know, a bit of maths for them to do it at home. Four, yes, four songs. We'll have a break in the middle again, an interval, which will give you time to do the usual, put the kettle on, etc. Uh, so, um, without further ado, oh, if we hear any knocking sounds or drilling, it's our next door neighbours, our new next door neighbours. He's a uh, an electrician and uh, he only moved in a couple of weeks ago and already he's tearing up the floorboards and he's drilling into the walls so uh, it's nobody knocking on our wall saying turn the volume down it's it'll be us knocking on their wall saying stop the drilling we're trying to play to the nation and you know the world huh. okay scalex trick yes now i'm assuming some people have gone whoa or hey or you just sort of, which I'd be. But anyway, Skelex Trick. When I was young, I had a Skelex Trick. I used to play with it incessantly in the front room, my mum and dad's house, and uh, kept it, stored it away, boxed it. And numerous years, uh, I don't know, about 10 years ago, I decided to get rid of it. So, I sold it and got rid of it. And now, of course, now I've got rid of it, I'm thinking, hmm, I wish I'd kept that. So, uh, in sort of honour of that, I thought I'd um, play this song, which is one of my earlier songs, but uh, it's all about Skellix Trick, and it's called Life is Like a Skellix Trick, and there's going to be lots of visual effects going on in this one. Right, bear that in mind. Okay, so keep watching. <laughs> Life is like a scale -age trick, it starts off slow and ends up quick. Racing to the finish line, life feels good and victory is mine. Should I care? Sparks 
Once again, metal dashing spark to the night. Oh, keep your nerve and don't swerve. Everything's gonna be alright. That is like a scale legs drink. It starts up slow and ends up quick. Cause I'm racing down the track. I feel I want my childhood by. That is like a scale legs drink. It starts up slow and ends up quick. Racing to a finish line, life feels good and victory is mine. I, I. Don't go too fast on the bend, you might come to a sticky end. Don't go too fast on the bend, 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 on the bend. A good wood chicane Lap after lap Again and again and again Champion of the circuit Across the front room floor You can hear my engines Roar, roar, roar Roar That's like a scale drink It starts up slow and ends up quick Cause I'm racing down the track I feel I want my childhood back Life is like a scale street It starts up slow and ends up quick Racing to the finish line Life feels good and victory is Thank you very much. Sip of water. Right, this is a time where we come to the spot of uh, playing a brand new number. So, uh, be brand new, brand new to you, and it will be virtually brand new to me. This is a song I wrote about. Well, it's nearly a year to the week. It's probably about, uh, no, it's probably about two or three more weeks, maybe. It was at the start of May that um, I appeared last year on um, Britain's Got More Talent and um, did, did someone go, hooray? So I have no idea. I, I'm assuming someone did. Let's hope someone did. And I thought after the experience, because it went all right last year, the year before, not so well, last year, okay, went all right. And it's London Palladium and all that, and I thought, ooh, wonderful. So which is why I ended up playing in my, my living room. Um, the, uh, I thought I'd write a song about the experience, just what happened, I thought, you know, something positive. So I did, and then we thought about it afterwards, on the train on the way home from London, uh, I was talking to Sue and sort of saying, oh, it's uh, amazing what we just did. And then I suddenly said, oh, um, it must be, uh, it must be my lucky underpants. And she said, what? I said, underpants, some underpants. So I didn't say it too loud on the train journey back because, you know, people were possibly, I mean, a bit alarmed by this. So I thought we'd play this song. Uh, which has got to be off the new album, which will be out on October 13th, my birthday, one way or the other. And it's, uh, it is called My Lucky Underpants, because they were lucky. Now, there's a sort of a bit where you can all join in the chorus. Um, it's very simple. So if I start playing it, the song, or just the basic beat. It's not going to be like this on the album. The album that's... It's more sort of dark techno, I suppose. This is a bit, this is very lightweight, uh, poppy, shiny poppy stuff, which this keyboard does 
in this thing here, the, the grammar art is what it does. There we are. So my album's are completely different to what you're hearing in a way. Right, so we've got the chorus goes. My lucky, my lucky, my lucky underpants. So we've got that line. So try again. My lucky, my lucky, my lucky underpants. And again, my lucky, my lucky, my lucky underpants. What was that? I'm lucky, I'm lucky, I'm lucky underpants. Once more, I'm lucky, my lucky, my lucky underpants. of the lights. Relax, relax, don't get up tight. My lucky, my lucky, my lucky underpants. My lucky, my lucky, my lucky underpants. My lucky, my lucky, my lucky underpants. Won't you give me a chance in my lucky underpants? I've got to say there's also some harmonies, but you can stick to the bottom one. You can add a third or you can add a fifth. Stage. Another chance, another page Invited on to show my all The theatre's big, I feel so small I start my act, two buzzers sound But I get to the end with my feet on the ground To be broadcast later across the nation I leave the stage to a standing ovation My lucky, my lucky, my lucky underpants my lucky, my lucky, my lucky underpants. My lucky, my lucky, my lucky underpants. Won't you give me a chance in my lucky underpants? The purple. Artist impression. My lucky, my lucky underpants, now you. My lucky, my lucky, my lucky underpants, now you. What's going My lucky, my lucky, my lucky underpants, my lucky, my lucky, my lucky underpants, my lucky, my lucky, my lucky underpants, my lucky, 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 my lucky, my lucky underpants, my lucky, my lucky, my lucky underpants, my lucky, my lucky, my lucky underpants, won't you give me a chance? In my lucky underpants, my lucky, my lucky, my lucky underpants, my lucky, my lucky, my lucky underpants, my lucky, my lucky, my lucky underpants, won't you give me a chance in my lucky underpants? Lucky underpants. Thank you very much. That was my lucky underpants. It must be on today because everything is going all right so far, we hope. Right, we're now going to have a short interval where Alfonso and his dining room happening will be playing through the interval. So we've got about a minute, 15, minute, 20 seconds to hopefully you put the kettle on beforehand and you're going about to just switch on again. I know well, some people say it's wasting electricity, it's wasting electricity. Well, I'm just thinking the you know, confines of this 
a short video to, to sort of panic, just panic, and you know, uh, you know, you can come back with a tea bag in the mug or coffee in the mug. You can bring the milk bottle through or a carton of milk. You can also have the saucer ready for when you've finished with the tea bag. You can take it out. So make sure you've got a teaspoon in as well. On the saucer, done. And don't forget the biscuits. Don't forget the biscuits, right? Alfonso, Alfonso, take it away. Again, I'm still not happy with this sign, but that's life. Right, as some of you might be aware, or might not be aware, I was born in the humble little seaside town of Great Yarmouth in Norfolk. Yes, I am a Norfolk bumpkin. I am a Norfolk dumpling. Um, I think that's about it. Yes, the similarity, the, um, what's the name? Anyway, I digress, possibly. When, when I grew up uh, as uh, in Great Yarmouth, there uh, were lots of seaside distractions, things like amusement arcades and the summer shows, which were wonderful. Amusement arcades, they yeah, okay. Um, but there was something that always intrigued me when I was young, and that was uh, the, the Wax Museum, which is on Regent Road in Great Yarmouth, on the way down to the seafront, which is called the House of Wax. And I always thought it was really sort of Ooh, because of um, the, uh, the horror film House of Wax with Vincent Price. But um, obviously they had a horror chamber, you know, had, um, and they had uh, well, lots of sort of scary things as well. But it was, it was informative. And I thought, yeah, let's, um, you know, so, so I went, went along. And uh, to be honest, I thought, Good grief, this is, uh, this is awful. Because it was one of those places where if they didn't have the, the names tags in front of the model, you wouldn't really, for the life of you, think, uh, it's because you, you just wouldn't know, because it never really looked like them. And this was the problem with the uh, House of Wax and Great Yarmouth. Uh, not as, uh, I mean, in Madame Tussauds in London, of course, was um, far better, but this was a relation of the Tussauds family, and obviously one of the more forgotten members of the family. Um, but, um, so I thought then, I'm about to play you a song which was called The House of Wax. Now I wrote that back in 1979, and I was in a, a band in Great Young called, the, uh, which is called Parasites, and um, we used to play on the seafront, and we used to get the crowds up on the feet and dancing, and uh, even there were skinheads dancing on the pool table. I remember one night, and the landlord had to 
to grab all of them and throw them out. So I thought, oh, we, we must be doing well. Uh, and, it, and we used to play some of my songs and some uh, non-original songs as well. And it used to go down quite well. And I thought, I'll, I'll revive this song. And I played it a few years ago at, uh, when I started playing solo. And I thought, well, that's okay. And I've come back to doing it again. And I'm going to record it for the very next album, which will be next year. Uh, a different site, different version. Um, so the, the song is obviously dated because the House of Wax was dated because it always remained in time. It never changed. But the good thing about this number is in the middle, we're going to have like a, a pub quiz. Now, how many singers, songwriters, can you say, oh, I remember so-and-so, they had a, a pub quiz in the middle of their song? Mm, probably not very many. Probably not very many. So anyway, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you a few photos of um, some of the waxworks, and I want you to have a guess as to who it might be. Okay? So we'll, we'll get through the number to the middle, and then we'll do the pub quiz, and then we'll finish the number. Simple as that. That's entertainment. This is called House of Wax. House of white, Venetian blinds Keep out the light, for us Conway The music completes the scene Inside are celebrities of pop, TV and movie screen Floors and long corridors take you through a display. Who is that? It doesn't say. They gaze through space at you and I. Uh, uh, I. Clifford Richard, Elvis Presley, and Frank Yvonne, Shirley Bassey, and the Beatles, but they haven't got the stones. No, 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 no. Oh, have some wax here full of facts and all our figures too Behind glass it's all of us like pages in the zoo See famous people wax immortalized Standing there like dummies, all glassy eyed. Jelly tops in a chamber, and Jack the Ripper is at large. See the electric chair, and no extra charge. Ay, 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 ay. House of white, you know, you know, you know, you know, outside the world changes, but inside it doesn't quite, it doesn't quite exhibit yourself. It doesn't bother me, but one day you will find it melts into obscurity. House of wax, you're full of facts and full of figures too. Behind glass, I wouldn't love it could be. It could be me or you. La 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 la. It could be me or you. La 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 la. Have some wax, you're full of facts and figures too. Oh, have some wax, you're full of facts and figures too. Have some facts, you full of facts, you big as two. Have some wax, you full of facts, and big as two. Now you're probably thinking he's forgotten about the pub quiz. Well, you're right. 
not so much in the middle, but more towards the end, but then never mind. Right, I'll, I'll come out front and I'll show you six faces and I want you to guess as to who they are. Then we'll just dash into that last chorus yet again. Right, first one up. Any, any guesses? Any guesses? I think it's an, this is an easy one, this one. Right, I've got this. Carly Minogue and Jason Donovan. Uh, it's a bit weird because Carly Minogue, her figure, from her waist downwards, it went down into like a little V shape. There's a really, really tiny feet, which is, went from sort of normal size into virtually nothing. Very weird. Anyway, right, next one up. It said sport. Yeah, but the problem is, I have no idea what you're... If you're shouting at the telly, I have no idea what you're saying. And there might be one or two messages coming up. I will read all the messages, I promise, afterwards. Um, anyway, this is, in fact, Ian Botham. Right, OK. Yeah, who'd have thought it? Who'd have thought it? Right, next one up. Who is this? This is... Come on, come on, come on. I assume you can all see this. Because I've been told there might be a blank screen somewhere. No? Okay, fine. This is the Sam Fox. Now, the younger amongst you will say, who on earth is Sam Fox, as you probably will of all the others, but Sam Fox, who is a model, who is a page three sort of um, thingy. Right, anyway, there we go. Who is this? Ooh, remember, so I get close, you have to recoil. Two metre distance, don't forget that. Whoa. Are you going back? Yeah, forward. Right, um, sport again. It said snooker. Yeah, I've forgotten his name now. He's, um, he's a young version of whatever his name was. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, right, we'll move on. <laughs> I'm sure someone must have got that. Who's this? A bit scary, this one, a bit scary. Do we know? Been on telly recent-ish. It's rather a wizened-looking Chris Tarrant. Someone actually said Chris Tarrant. No, okay, Chris Tarrant. Right, and the last one, who is this? It's a bit of a mystery on this, who is this? all know who this is. It's a rather strange sort of bronzy sunken faced person according to the wax works. I think it must have melted a bit on a warm day personally. But anyway, it's, of course as everyone knows, it's Mussolini. Yes, Mussolini, yeah. He was, um, no, I don't words. Anyway. House of wax, you're full of facts, the figures too. Hats of wax, you're full of facts, the figures too. Uh, wasn't that wonderful? Hats of wax, you're full of facts, the figures too. Something to tell the grandchildren who. Hats of wax, you're full of. Oh, you're there, grandchildren, there. Figures too. Hats of wax, you're full of facts, and figures too. Hats of wax, you're full of facts and figures too. Thank you. And thank you for having a guess. I'm assuming people are having a guess. Good, good, good. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> I heard nothing, but that's what I would like to hear. Okay. Well, we're getting down to the, the final number for today. Um, I'm going to be uh, coming into your living rooms or wherever you are in the house or, or wherever um, every two weeks. So the next one will be again in two weeks time on a Sunday at four o'clock as per usual with more fun and antics and uh, other things. Right, we move on to, this is a song which is off my last album, which was the follow up to Action Man with Giraffe's Head. Um, 
which is the logical progression, which is a giraffe with a head of an action man. Now, some of you are saying, really? I'm saying yes. It sort of explains things, I think, about the first song a bit more. Um, anyway, Tom Robinson liked it, so I don't care. This is, um, what should we say, this is visual as well, this is very visual. And it's got a nice sing along chorus, which I shall get to in a second, I think. Uh, mm, somewhere there should be something, and there isn't. Wait a minute, don't go away. Uh, no, I'm missing something. Oh well, oh there we are, sorry, found it, found it. Um, panic over. There wasn't any panic really, it was just me being flustered, you know. Time of life and all that. Right, this is called A uh, Giraffe with the Head and Action Man. Now the chorus is... Like this. A giraffe with a head of an action man. A giraffe with a head of an action man. Can you believe it? And I want you to shout, yes, yes we can. So, can you believe it? So, once more, I didn't quite hear that. Not one believe this one either, but... Can you believe it? Yes we can. But you're up with an action man's head. But you're up with an action man's head. Just in case you forget. And I'll be rushing around to the front to have a look in case I forget as well. So this is a giraffe with a head of an action. Sounds dramatic, so. The giraffe with a head of an action. Man. Existence. This is the only one precious 
So I'm seeing I've got shaking already. I'm going to come around the front, right, so you can see a bit clearer. Right, here we go. May I introduce to you the one and the only giraffe with a head of an action man. When it was dark, I broke into the zoo, <laughs> liberated the beast. Mm, what else could I do together at last? We rode down the street and into the sunset. He said his name was Pete. He was a giraffe with a hood of an action man. Giraffe with a hood of an action man. Can you believe it? Yes, we can. The giraffe with an action man's head. It was the giraffe with the head of an action man. Giraffe with the head of an action man. Can you believe it? The giraffe with an action man's head. The giraffe with an action man's head. The giraffe with an action. The giraffe with an action. The giraffe. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right, we're coming very nearly to the end of the programme, as it were. Of course, the programme. <laughs> Maybe not. Right, uh, cast of thousands as per usual, so I'll just start the music off. Alfonso, Alfonso, get your lads ready. Are they ready? And lasses. Okay, here we go then. Right. I'd like to say thank you very, 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 very much for watching. Thank you for being there. I've got nowhere else to go, have you? Let's face it. I'm here, you're there. Hope to see each other again in two weeks' time, if not before. However, that is possible, I do not know. But I'd like to thank everybody, Metal Owl, Giraffe with an action man's head, Morph, of course, is always there, um, and other things. I forgot to use this, but does it matter? Intruder! 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 No, it doesn't. Okay. So anyway, uh, thank you also to Alfonso and his dining room happening. He keeps telling me to plug his album. I will back in next year, we hope. So until next time. All that remains for me to say is, stay well, stay safe, stay happy, oh yes, and hashtag stay at home. So thank you very, very much. See you again next time. Okay, goodbye.